Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and I hope you guys are having a really great day. I wanted to share something with you, a tip um, that I find extremely helpful to me. You may not, but I definitely do, and hopefully it'll be helpful to you. But I wanted to show you this. I can't believe this. There is definitely something wrong when the only eggs you can find in Walmart is their brand, and it's a 218 count. That's all they're selling. And there's just something very odd about that. There is. And I don't really pay attention when people start telling me there's gonna be shortages in this and there's gonna be shortages in that. But this is definitely weird. It just is. But they seem to be doing away with everything except their brand. Now, my tip is this, okay? I have a chest freezer. And I have a tendency, when I have something left over, it gets thrown into that chest freezer, leftovers, whatever. And it ends up not necessarily getting used right away, which is really what should happen, but it doesn't always. It's usually meat that it happens to. So I'm going to show you what I do here. Um, these are index cards, okay? And this helps me to label what's inside the bag that's right that way even if it gets lost in the bottom or gets lost halfway down or mixed in i know what's inside that freezer bag which is what i'm putting here dressing okay now i got 200 cards here cut them in half and you've got 400 you know that does 400 bags you can flip it over and use the back side or mark out the dressing and write underneath it. So that would give you four times you could use that one card, you know, using the back side also. So, you know, I think it's worth it. I can open my freezer, look and say, oh, this is dressing or oh, leftover chicken. Or if I'm butchering an animal and putting it in freezer bags, and sometimes I have small meat or something that I say, oh, I'm going to use this for burritos. I'm going to make burritos with this or I'm going to make a stew with it. I can label that meat. And so when I'm looking, I'm not guessing at which meat is for the stew or the burritos. Now, I save these vegetable bags. I do. I see them all the time in carts at stores. I pick them up, I stick them in my pockets, and I even get more when I'm there at the store. Because I will put whatever I'm going to freeze in these bags, and then I will put it inside the freezer bag. Now, this is my dressing, and I am going to put it in one of these vegetable bags, now, I want to say something. I make a lot of dressing. I have another pan of dressing besides this. I make a lot because my son really loves it, and every time he comes over, he heads to the freezer and gets it. Now, I also re-clean this pan. I paid three forty nine dollars for three pans. Why would I throw it away? I can wash this. If you're gentle, you can wash it. Use a plastic scrubber, a little soap and water. Be gentle. You know, don't bend it all out of shape where, you you know, it won't hold anything. But I'm going to, you, these are the freezer bags. Now, I don't write on them because I'm going to tell you something. After writing one time on this, the next time, it's, you can't write on them. I, I've never had any luck trying to write on them two or three times. And I do reuse my freezer bags. I really do. And so, you can see right there i mean you can just take your nail and scrape it and that white comes right off of there and you put that in the freezer with a lot of other things and that happens you're not sure what is in there anymore because most of the writing got scratched off i've had that happen to me several times but what i'm going to do here is take the dressing and i'm going to put some of it into these vegetable bags i save the vegetable bags that i bring my vegetable home at the store and if you don't like that thought because you're like, oh, well, that, you know, the outside that's been seen, I flip it over. Who cares? I'm not worried about it. Whatever is put in there is going to be reheated or it's going to be cooked. So I'm not worried about germs or anything like that because the food is getting redone again. And so 
I'm going to take the vegetable bags and I'm going to put it inside the Ziploc bag. Now, I've decided that actually two of these bags could fit inside this Ziploc bag. This is a smaller Ziploc bag, but I don't put a whole lot of dressing because mostly, honestly, it's my son who just eats the leftovers and he'll pull out one bag. And these little uh, vegetable bags are great for the microwave. They are. You, you reheat things on low. I do not heat things on high because that has a tendency to really dry it out. But I even reheat tamales in this, on those little bags. And so I'll put another bag, vegetable bag, with some um, dressing in it, and I will stuff it down inside of this. I will. And then I'll put my little card inside. I'll show you in a second here. I'm trying to get this all organized and get it done. But um, I do. I use two. I just, you know. And, and then I put the dressing, the card, inside of it. And that's it. You know. It's easy. And I do this for everything. You know, not just for this. Any kind of leftover, any kind of meat I'm putting away, any kind of vegetables, anything that I've got left over or that I have butchered and I want to put into the freezer, I will do this. And the bags, the um, vegetable bags, protect it. It, it. it protects the inside of the bag so the little cards don't get wet and destroyed. And it's an awesome way for you to be able to know what's in all your bags and you know what you got there and when you're sitting there going oh that chicken that chicken I can use the leftover chicken for tacos but you no longer know which bag has that leftover chicken anymore because it's God only knows where in the freezer and everything to you starts to look like shredded chicken and so this is a perfect way help you to reuse and reuse your freezer bags but know what's inside and it's no hassle and it's easy now we could sit and talk for hours about how horrible the situation is and it is bad and it's going to get a lot worse but there's nothing we can do there really isn't all we can do is put it in God's hands to help each and every one of us to get through what's coming. Well, God bless and have a blessed day.